everyone, it's Tabby. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a requested video from Mrs. Vila Broza. And she is a new subscriber and she asked to do an everyday makeup routine, my everyday makeup routine or my makeup favorite. So I'm gonna do a quick makeup routine. Don't be alarmed when I show up with a little bit, with no makeup in a little while. And then uh, it's a quick daily routine takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes and that's how I do it. And then other days I get a little bit crazy, but for daily look, this is it. It's quite simple. Okay, but before I do that, I want to show a quick Chanel haul. Very small one. I went to Nordstrom's and I got the Double Perfection Lumiere. And you will see in my uh, makeup routine that I'm almost out of my Estee Lauder Estee Lauder powder so I decided to try this so this is the felt cover that it comes in and it's the double wear so it has like foundation and powder in it like this so pretty is it upside down oh it's upside down and it, they say it's good for, or is it upside down? Oh gosh, it was right the first time. They say it, ooh. They say it's good for, um, the color is beige 30. And they say it's good for really good coverage. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Next, I got, this is the new, it's called the Perfection Lumiere Velvet. And they say it's a new uh, foundation, liquid foundation, and it's broad spectrum SPF 15 30 beige again. And the Chanel essay at Nordstrom was very sweet. She was saying she was talking about the products and things like that and how it uses. I don't know. I kind of wasn't listening. I probably should. But the bottles are so cute. And again, in my daily routine, you'll see I run out of my Urban Decay Naked Foundation. So that's why I bought this. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Next, I always, recently I've been getting really oily. And um, this is not Chanel, but I got the Bobbi Brown blotting papers. And the lady said it was amazing, and I tried it yesterday and today. And yeah, it takes off a lot of oil. I don't know, recently I've been getting very, very oily, like to the point where it's like I'm shining. It's so greasy. So this one, again, is the, the next thing I got was the 30 Natural Translucent, Translucent Powder, Press Powder. And I decided to get that so I can carry my blotting um, papers with me and then carry this um, little powder with me as well so I can touch up because man I've been getting super oily so this is what it looks like and then the color is like that Got the um, you'll see in my video I use the brow Wiz, um, Anastasia and it is in ebony the color ebony and um, yeah, you'll see in my video, but those are the things that I got. So let me know if you try them out. Um, she also gave me a free sample of the Le Lift Chanel eye cream, and they say that's new as well, and because I'm getting um, some crow's feet on my side of my eyes. So let me know if you guys have tried that and what eye creams you recommend. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put up my video for my daily makeup routine. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Here I am with no makeup. <laughs> yes, so this is me with no makeup. Um, I just woke up a few hours ago. <laughs> I didn't wake up, uh, I didn't put makeup on purpose because I knew I was gonna film this. So, it's my makeup for every day is very simple um, and very quick. And then sometimes I will apply eyeshadow, but most days I don't. So this is very quick and very straight to the point. I don't have time to fuss um, 
over taking forever and some days I do going out at night and some days if I feel like I want to wear eyeshadow or other things I definitely will so thank you so much for watching and I'll get started okay so the first thing that I already did was I washed my face and I used the Rodan and Fields redefine line and I didn't bring the soap oops Usually in the morning, I don't really wash my face. I just use a makeup remover and um, remove like excess oil. And then I use this pore minimizing toner. And then I put that over my face. It's kind of like a, it is a toner really. And I do that in my face when I wake up and it takes a lot of the oil out of my face. And then for the AM, I have the Rodan and Phil's Redefine Morning Lotion, and that has SPF 30. So I've been using this for about, I would say, a year. And I think it's alright. I don't see a huge difference. So I haven't really fallen in love with any skincare lines, so if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. And so right now, my face when I was younger, I had combination skin. I still do, um, but I'm definitely a lot more oily. I'm a lot oilier now. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm very shiny. So, okay, so let me get started. So I applied those two. The first thing I do is I am almost out of this, but this is, and it's dirty too, is the Naked Skin Urban Decay. Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup and I've been using this for a good few months and it's almost out and I really like this a lot. Someone was asking what my favorite foundation was and I like this right now because um, it's very, it doesn't feel like you have like um, cake, like it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel heavy and I sweat a lot so it's very light. It doesn't like cover everything because so you can still kind of see like my little freckles coming through which is fine for me um, so yes so I'm gonna shake that up and I'm almost out I'm actually a lot out oh gosh I'm like this not how much I use not really, I actually, this is all I have left. But let's see how it'll, it'll do on my face. So I sometimes use little like sponges to apply it to my face, but I really do like to use my hands a lot more. So I'm kind of running low, as you can see. But anyways, I just smooth it on. I might, and my hands are clean. I probably will get, I don't know if everyone uses their fingers, but I really like to do that because I feel like it gets um, all over the place. Okay, and then the next thing that I use is my Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Lauder Double Wear stay in place powder makeup and it is 4N1 in Shell Beige 05 and as you can see I've used it all the way down to the tin and I've had this for about a year and I really like it a lot it's not too heavy and I think it creates the perfect amount of coverage that I want I just kind of sw swirl it around I don't use the little sponge in there and then just kind of cover my face as much as I can. Do it again. It's harder because there's not as much in there. Okay, so yeah, that is that. And then what I do next is I put on my Naked Urban Decay Flushed. It has the bronzer, highlighter, and blush in it in three. And I bought one a long time ago. This is what it looks like. I bought it a long time ago and 
there's like four or five different like shades and I bought one and I really liked it a lot and my mom liked it so I gave it to her and then when I went back to go to buy it at Sephora I couldn't remember which one it was so this is not the exact one that I like so but I mean it, it works so um, some days I just use bronzer and kind of have like a sun-kissed look but today I'm gonna do um, use some blush and highlighter so just you know, tap a little bit and then dabble the excess off and then kind of put some on my cheeks like that and all the time I Yeah, it looks a little heavy-handed. <sighs> it's okay. I'll put a little bit more coverage on. And then I go in and, oh my gosh. I just stuck my finger inside the blush. Okay, that's okay. So I just dabble the little corners. I need to get one of those brushes that help highlight, but I just dabble the little corner with the highlighter and then put a little up here on my upper cheekbones and then smooth it out. And then I get another little brush, like a smaller little thin brush like that. And then just dab a little bit and then go down my nose like that a little, a little and above my lips. And then a little underneath here. And then I think my blush is a little heavy handed. So what I do if I want to make it lighter is I just get some more powder, I see a lot of powder, and just go over it real quick. And then cover it up. So it's not as heavy. Okay, and then the next, so that's my face. Then the next thing I do is my eyes. And um, I have eyelash extensions, so I don't use mascara now. Um, these are about two weeks old, so they're definitely like, they need to be replaced. But normally when I don't have eyelash, false eyelashes extensions, I use the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. And I like this a lot. I have very short, straight eyelashes, so. But I don't need to put any mascara on because I have the extensions. And it's been about two months since I've, since I've had them. Oh, about a month and a half. And I really like it a lot. I'll probably do a video on that. Okay, so next I use MAC Black Ice. It's very, <laughs> almost done with it. Black Ice Eyeliner. And then I just, Kind of go, I do it very sloppily because I'm going to go over with some, this is not working very well. I go over it with some eyeshadow. This is not the one I normally use because I lost my other one and it's not using it well because I need to sharpen it. But I lost my other MAC eyeliner. So anyways, I just do a really rough little edge on the bottom like that. And then I get my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. And I get the Actually, that's not my next step. Hold on. The next step I do is I do my, my wing eyeliner. And this is by e.l.f. And it's the Expert Liquid Liner. It's only like $2. But for some reason, I've tried different ones. I think I want to try the Cat... 
uh, what's her name? Van D's black liquid eyeliner from Sephora. But uh, so far this e.l.f. one has been working well for me. I like the way that the tip looks. So what I do is I don't go over my whole eye, but I just start from the bottom right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. So what I do, oh, this is hard on camera. Okay. I just start from the bottom right here and then do a little flick. Some days longer and some days shorter. I hope you can see. So like that. Just a little flick. But recently I've been liking to do it like a uh, longer, longer flicks. And then I just flick it up to where the tip of my eyebrows are. And as you can see, my eyelashes are getting in the way. And then I just look back and make sure that they're equal. Looks about equal, right? Yeah, each side. Okay, so after I do the eyeliner, that's when I get my Naked 2 Urban Decay palette. And I will use um, Booty Call, which is, how do I show you without blinding you? Booty Call is the third one, I believe this one, yes. I use that one. And I use that as a highlighter between my eyes, just dab a little bit. And I like to use it in the corner of my eyes like this. Because it opens up your eyes a little. I like the way that looks. And if you guys have any good recommendations for any highlighters, let me know. Or for, you know, for the corner eye. And then I kind of like to bring it in a little. Every, bring it in. So like that. Same thing with the other side. Then I use that same little brush that I was using. There's two sides, the fluffier side, and then this one. I get go in and I use Blackout, which is the one on the far right, the black one. I use Blackout. And I'll just dabble a little bit, and to make my eye my eyeliner a little bit more, not just like drawn on, I like to make it look a little shadowed a little. So what I do is I just go over with the black eyeshadow like that. And then kind of bring it in a little bit to the cat eye. Oh, today's a little bit more traumatic. I'm not used to doing this in front of camera, so, but I still like it. I mean, I'll work with it. See, that one's a little bit more than the other. So I usually go for this side rather than this side. So I'm just gonna even it out because this the other side's a little bit smokier. Okay, so that's my finished eye look. So I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Anastasia Brow, Brow Wiz in Ebony. And I just bought this yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush them out.
with the little, what's it called, spoolie. I want to grow my eyebrows out a little bit more, but I'm having a hard time with them. They're very gnarly. They're like, okay. So little small. brushes in them. Like little hair-like strokes so it doesn't look like it's too drawn in. And of course, cover the spaces. And sometimes I don't even do my eyebrows out of laziness because Sometimes I wear my bangs down, and so I don't need to really do my eyebrows. finished face look and then I'm gonna use the Clinique Nude Pop 01 Nude Pop well my I'm sorry I'm filming this separately and you probably hear the lawn people in the background but um, I this is my finished face look and I am going to like I said I'm gonna use my Clinique Nude Pop and um, just apply it real quick. Honey, you're in the background. I know. You can't do that. That's the way I was acting funny. Okay, for the third time putting on my lipstick, my husband, first time my video cut off, second time my husband was in the background dancing. There you go. That's, that's a little glimpse of our life. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting nude pop on real quick. For the third time. And I like this because it's very natural and very good for every day. And like I said, very moisturizing. So this is my finished look. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair. This is just like my hair when I'm like putting on my makeup, but I'm gonna go ahead and straighten my hair and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.